you got another tutorial for you today. Um, this one's going to be covering how to make a beard on someone in Adobe Photoshop CS6. So basically we're going to be taking this guy here and doing this to him. Uh, so you can see here he kind of looks like he has a beard. So uh, to do that, let's go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop. Alright, and really what you want to do here is find a really high quality image to work with. Um, you know, definitely HD. I actually went to StockExchange.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that uh, to get this picture. You do have to sign up, but it's free and uh, get some really high quality photos. So once you got your picture here, uh, go ahead and drag it in there. Right, and you should end up with something like this. Now go ahead and go up here to the Layer uh, tab, go to New, New Layer, and then go ahead and call this whatever you want. I'm just going to name this Beard. All right, and now we're just going to press B on our keyboard, make sure we have our brush tool selected. Go ahead and just select this one, turn the hardness down to 0%, and bring this up to, well, in my case, uh, 75, pretty good. Basically, you're just going to press down and just click and drag uh, wherever you want the beard to be placed whenever we're finished here. So, you know, something like what I'm doing here. Now, I'm not going to spend much time on this um, because of this tutorial, but, uh, you know, I'd be a lot more uh, precise if I was actually going for a pretty realistic look. So, just keep that in mind. Just gonna go under the nose here. And bring my brush size down to about 37. And we'll just kinda trail this off. Now oh, that's good enough. I'm not gonna spend much time trying to touch that up, but uh I'm also going to add some underneath his neck here. And so, kind of like that. And it doesn't matter if you start getting these streaks or anything. Uh, that's no big deal. So, um, so basically once you've got your, uh, your outline finished, where you want this uh, facial hair to be, uh, we're going to go up to Filter, and we're going to go down to Noise and Add Noise. And right here... I found that anywhere between 120 and 150 works pretty good. I'll do about 140 and make sure the distribution set to Gaussian and you also have monochromatic uh, checked on as well. And so you can uh, see that's what it does for us. Um, so now we need to go back up to filter to make this look better. Uh, go down to blur and go down to radio blur. Uh, make sure the blur method is set to zoom and that we have the quality set to best and the amount at 10 is fine so that's good right there and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this we're gonna go to blending options and then we're gonna come down here to where it says blend mode and we're gonna actually change this to multiply and press OK and uh, there you go uh, you can see that uh, he does look like he has a beard um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, that didn't take that long. And uh, once again, like always, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Uh, if you did, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. And uh, always, please subscribe. And keep in mind, I will return the favor. So uh, yeah, guys, with that said, um, I guess that'll do it for this tutorial. And uh, I'll see you guys at a later time.